a very cutesy episode of Moji Moji Rurumo this week. Now, I want to be straight out honest with all of you, and I understand you all want my honesty about how I feel. Out of all the episodes I've seen so far from this series, this has to be probably the worst in my opinion, because the overall setup and theme of this episode was very generic. I've seen this uh, theme a lot in other fan service type anime, and so really this this episode was very generic and it was actually one of those type of episodes I really hate in anime and manga because the way it went about it. Because, I mean, it had nothing but pantsu shots, bra shots, you know, seeing, you know, Opai through the freaking shirts. I'm just like, it, I'm fine with fan service sometimes. I understand this series, it has fan service, but... I don't like episodes that clearly just focus on that aspect. I mean, this entire episode, if you think about it, there was not much real plot progression at all, but at the exact same time, it was rather pointless. Because in the entire episode, you have our main male character, Shibaki, trying to save his H-Mags, or Porno Mags, whatever you want to call his magazines, okay? He's trying to save them for the entire episode from the student council president. And right here, it's a really cool setup at the beginning, but then the entire episode just drags on and on and on with this concept, and it really just gets dull in the second half of the episode. I mean, what really made this episode bearable, honestly, was, you know, getting to see our favorite Neko in this series transform into a girl. Chiro, I think that's her name, and she transforms into a girl, I'm like, oh my god, and she looked very fucking kawaii, I'm just gonna be honest right there, but... It, that was the only thing I truly enjoyed out of the episode. Besides that, it really didn't have much going on. Of course, you had more of Rurumo seeming to be confused. She didn't know what she wanted to do. And at the exact same time, it seems like she's having some form of, you know, psychological issues in the background that she's not telling anyone else. That's really the main thing you could possibly get out of this episode that could probably carry on to the next one. Besides that, there really wasn't much. The animation style looks really good. I mean, you know by now the animation style is really weird compared to other anime. And I feel like the animation held up for the way it looks. So I'm not going to complain on the animation. They had the faces look really good off in the distance. So no complaints from me there. Now I will say the music though of the episode was really good. That is something that really kept me entertained in this episode. Because the one thing that really managed to keep me entertained and continue to watch this episode. Was because of that music and the Neko Chiro transforming. Those were the two big things and I feel like the episode, at the very least, it executed that music in the way they used the animation properly. Besides that, though, I'm gonna say, like I said, this is the most dullest episode I've seen from this series. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna drop the series, I'm not, but I mean, out of everything I've seen, this definitely was one of those episodes where it's just like, oh my god, just end, because... It's just, it's not my cup of tea. These type of episodes aren't. Hopefully next week, you know, it'll go into a better, I guess, episodic plot. Or it might go into the real focus of the series. We might find out exactly more about what's going on with Rurumo. And at the exact same time, find out more about these tickets. I mean, hopefully we get to learn more stuff about that. And actually, I am going over something real quick, actually. There was some character development for Chiro this episode. We find out she hasn't transformed into a human for 25 years. So we did not know about that until this episode. So that's... That is one big element, actually, we can learn from this episode. So, there was some character development, but not much. I mean, it pretty much pointed out that, you know, our main male character, Shibaki, is a pervert, but... I mean, we already knew that since episode one. And so, everybody, tell me your thoughts, honestly, about this series. What did you feel about this episode? I mean, of course, comedy is subjective, as always, because this technically can be considered a comedy episode. And so, of course, my taste is not going to be to, you know, everybody else's. For instance, you might fucking enjoy this episode, but you hated last episode. I mean, everybody has different tastes. So I can't, you know, force my taste on top of all of you, but I will say, though, that this episode, in my eyes, I've just seen it too many times. So anyways, everybody, tell me your thoughts on this episode. I love all of you so much. You have a wonderful day or night, wherever you live. Please be safe. She be out.